Okay, so um, what I got here, I have an AC adapter you would normally have hooked up to a um, to a monitor. Um, what I what I'm building, if you can see my desk here, is like the router here, the speakers, um, the monitor. Basically, I there's a lot of stuff on my desk. In order to fix this, I'm building a um, I guess you call it a monitor stand. I'm putting monitors on top of it, and underneath it, it's going to have compartments. Now in these compartments, in the middle one, I'm going to put my uh, PlayStation, and one of the side ones, I'm going to put my. Um, as you can see here, I have my my router and my my modem. Put that in one, and underneath my keyboard here, I have um, an external hard drive. I'm um, I'm going to put that with either the um, the router and the modem. I'm going to put it in the third compartment that's going to be on the right side. Anyway, but to do this, well, I, I built this thing. I'm kind of worried about heating issues, stuff overheating, because it's in a closed space. So I wanted to build a, um, a little thing that would provide, you know, a little, a little bit of fan, and a little bit of air, a little bit of air. So what I did here was I got a uh, adapter. AC adapter you'd use on a monitor. It's 12 volts, 5 amps. Let's see if we can get in on this action. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can. Anyway, 12 volts, 5 amps. This fan here is a uh, 12 volt, 0.2 amp. This fan right here is a 12 volt, 0.12 amp. Now, these fans, I have an old computer really old that I was using as a server but um, I'm not it's not in use anymore so I decided to take the fans out of it this big one here is actually from the power supply and this little one here is actually from the CPU heat sink but I, I took those off cleaned them up a little bit and as you can see here I did a little bit of uh, splicing what I did was I took the cord and I spliced it um, these AC adapter cables they don't go, um, you know, red black like the fan cables here do. It's just little thin wires wrapped around a core, insul an insulated core of more little thin wires. What this ends up being is the inner the inner core. As you can see here, the white. This is the inner core. This is actually the positive. Now this outer core down here is actually the negative. So what you can actually do is take the negative of the fan and hook it up to all the little wires that are on the outside and that gives it the negative power and hook it up to the cores on the inside the, the red wire to the cores on the inside and that gives you your positive power. Now most videos like this what they would do let's see, let me get this thing out of the trash oh. they would take this little guy here and tell you to stick the red into the hole and then the black under the thing under this metal part right here. Now that's fine and dandy, but what do you what do you do if you want two fans across the span of like, I don't know, maybe a foot? Well, this is what I came up with. And it actually works. I'm kind of surprised, but it does work. And here, let me plug it in. It's kind of shaky because I'm shooting it with my Droid X, and there's not a camera stand for it. Anyway, plug this guy in. As you can see, that fan is running. You're probably hearing air coming from that fan. It's actually scooting across the desk. That's kind of cool. This fan over here, let's point it towards the camera. This fan, too, is running. It's actually blowing a nice little bit of air. I think this will be a nice ventilation for my uh for my little thing. But um I think the main reason I shot this video was because most of the videos that I saw about actually all the videos I saw was just about plugging the red into the hole and then wrapping the black around the thing. And sometimes you may want to do two. But you know, this is a good alternative. Um if you don't want to go through all this trouble, Silex 
does actually have a four fan controller that's external um, I'll probably if I put this up on YouTube I'll probably post the link for that and um, yeah we'll see how this goes um, I'm kinda worried about these exposed wires I might figure out what to do with that but for the time being it works and I'm happy with it <laughs>